Hello fellow trainers, I'm Trainer James and you're watching Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Dice Lines. This is episode number 28 and as you can see we just challenged Fisherman Elliot once again but he will not give us that water stone which we so really need because I really want a Ludicolo. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and get started with a team recap. Um, so first up, we have Crybaby here, our level 38 Loudred, who's holding a Hearthstone, who knows Uproar, Rock Tube, Overheat, and Rock Smash. Then we have Batman, our thir level 35 Crobat, who knows Acrobatics, Bite, Poison, Fang, and Confuse Ray. Then we have Eddie, our level 35 Long Ray, who's holding the Quick Call, who knows Surf, Rain Dance, Giga Drain, and Flash. Then we have Q-Tip, our level 35 Altaria, who's holding the Rocky Helmet, who knows Dragon Breath, Cotton Guard, Fly, and Roost. We have Skylar, our level 35 um, Swallow, who's holding the Expert Belt, who knows Aerial Ace, Double Team, Quick Attack, and Focus Energy. And the last step, we have Vera, our level 35 Line Noon, who's holding the Soothe Bell, who knows Slash, Odor Sleuth, Cut, and Sand Attack. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our team. So... We are here in the Fortree City Gym because we have to take on uh, the gym leader today, Winona. That's the plan anyways. And then luckily, after we beat Winona, we can start using the fly t or, yeah, the fly move outside of battle. So instead of having to backtrack clear to Duford uh, Town, I could just fly there. So... Because I literally just spent the last four and a half minutes getting back to Fortree City. So. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, let's cause an uproar. Now, I know Crybaby is level 38 and everyone else is level 35. But that's only because I'm trying to get Crybaby to evolve into an Exploud. And he evolves at level 40. So it's only two more levels. Uh, well... A little over one level because he's actually close to leveling up right now. He might level up actually with this battle. And he does. Okay, so he's level 39, so he only needs one more level to evolve. Yes. Okay. A Skarmory. That's fine. Um, Skarmory puts up spikes. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Well, we're still causing an uproar. Up. I did a decent amount for being a, do a normal move. Uh, let's use Rock Tomb. Overheat is super effective, but Rock Tomb is neutral. And I believe Rock Tomb will take the Skarmory out. Well, actually, no, because Skarmory is super defensive. But you know what? I'm going to keep using Rock Tomb anyways. Because Overheat only has 6 PP. And I want to save it. Now, we probably will go back and heal prior to taking on Winona. And I don't have a lot of time to record today because I'm having dinner with Jen tonight at her parents' house. And I'll be doing I'll, I'll be leaving that after I finish today's recording. So, taking on Winona is most likely the only thing I will do today. Which I trying to think uh i guess the flannery episode was because i i was gonna say normally like we like normally the the gym leader episodes are where we only face the gym leader but we did flannery first so we had stuff to do after the flannery battle so that's not true it's not totally true anyways um, okay, let's, uh, can't go that way, so we gotta, okay. This is one puzzle I think I can deal with. I think my, my biggest problem in terms of, like, Pokemon puzzles are the ice puzzles, because I really hate the ice puzzles a lot. But everyone else, uh, yeah, we might be, uh, <laughs> a tad overleveled for Winona. I don't remember what level her Pokemon are at, though. But, I mean, Norman, his slacking was 35. Or well, his, his ace slacking was 35. But all these other Pokemon seem to be, like, in their... Like, Dodua right here is 28. 
and all the other Pokemon seem to be, you know, like, level 30, so in their low 30s. So maybe Winona is also in our low 30s? I am going to use a soda pop on Crybaby because I'm not trying to get I'm not trying to kill Crybaby. We're trying to keep him alive. Like I said, one more level. And he should evolve. I I'm almost positive. I think it was Golden that had mentioned in the comments of a previous episode that Crybaby evolves at level 40. Good old Brian. And if you're new to the channel. Hello, welcome. I upload... Well, I have two series going on right now. I have Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Dice Lock, which is what we're watching right now. And then I also have a Pokemon Black Randomizer Nuzlocke series, which is quickly coming to an end. We have all eight badges in that series. We are heading to the Elite Four. Um, okay, so... So yeah, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Show this video some like by hitting the like button as well. It really uh, helps helps uh, YouTube see that these videos, when you guys are watching them, like oh, they're getting likes, they're they're getting nice retention. You guys are staying and watching. I appreciate it and thank you. But it shows YouTube, hey, let's uh, promote this video to more people. Oh, Rock Tomb. Okay, so the Dodrio's speed fell. Oh, I was also gonna say, um, oh, we're paralyzed. Okay, it doesn't matter. Got the Rock Tomb off. But but um, I started a Crystal Randomizer Nuzlocke stream. It started this past Monday. But you can also find that on the channel. It's uh, I made a playlist for it. In case you missed the first episode and you want to go and watch that, you can. Okay, so we gotta go... Oh, you can't. Okay, so... Wait a minute, wait, wait. Oh, right here, okay, okay, okay. Ah, I see, I see. But yeah, we did a Choose My Starter episode, and we also got through the first Gym Leader, Faulkner. Uh, the first episode is just under, like, three hours. Do I have a Paralyzed Heal? I don't think so. We do have a PP up though, though. And a PP max. Oh yeah, that's right. We got a PP max last episode. No, that was in black. Yeah, that was in black. Um. You know what? We're just gonna use a lava cookie for the paralysis, and because I don't feel like going out and healing at this moment, I I will before I take on. Uh. Before I take on Winona. But I want to get all these trainers battled first. And I believe we will have an Exploud before we get to Winona. Especially, we defeat this Pelipper. And I think Crybaby will level up. He should, he should level up from this Pelipper. So, hopefully. Hopefully. And of course, you're going to protect and make us waste PP on our Rock Tomb. Oh, Payback. I think Payback is one of those moves that it does more damage if you go second. So, okay. Let's rock to him again. Okay, I was thinking Pelipper was going to use Protect, but he didn't. Level up. <clears throat> yes, okay. So... Okay, hopefully we get an Exploud now. And then I'll put Crybaby... Okay, yes. Yes. Crybaby is evolving. Oh, yes. Evolution dance. Oh, yeah. We have Crybaby the Exploud. It wants to go in crunch. Okay. Okay. Um. Be nice if I get rid of Rock Smash now. Oh wait, can I? Oh no, I can't. I can't. Okay. Um. 
Let's get a Rock Tomb for now. Only because I have the TM for Rock Tomb, so I can reteach it to Crybaby if I decide I want to. Because I want to keep Overheat, I want to keep Uproar. Um, let's see if your attack and special attack are still equal. And they are. They are. So your 92 special attack and 91 attack. Okay. Um, so let's... Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's just keep it like that. Okay, cool. Now we can actually move Crybaby and put someone else out front. Let's see. Flying type. So we don't want to lead with Eddie at all. Preferably if Eddie does not come in. Um, so actually, let's, let's lead with Batman. We can put Skylar up here since... Both of these are vying for MVP spot anyways. So they're probably most suitable to take on Winona. Uh, okay, we gotta go back through here. Okay. And then, yeah, there she is. Okay. So I'm actually gonna go back and heal real quick. Okay, so we're back from healing and our five healing items are two lemonades I bought a full restore because we buy full restores now and I bought two max potions. I could have bought three full restores, but I figured let's let's save a thousand dollars and buy two max potions instead. Plus we have uh you know, we have all these like healing status items. You know, we have two antidotes, an ice heal, ten full heals, and such. So we here are our five healing HP items. <clears throat> So let's go ahead and face Winona Ryder. Winona Ryder. I am Winona. I am the leader of the Four Tree Pokemon Gym. Mm -hmm. I have become one with bird Pokemon and have soared the skies. However, grueling the battle, I will triumph with grace. I like the camera like panning around. It's pretty cool. And of course, she's like decked out in flying gear. <laughs> Witness the elegant choreography of my bird Pokemon and me. <laughs> Such a cool design for a gym winner. Like, I like just the wings, the helmet, and everything. A Swellow? Okay. We, we have our own Swellow. So it's Batman... Batman versus Skylar. Right here. This is it, guys. This is it. Confuse Ray. We're going to Confuse Ray first. Uh, this is actually the one time where we don't want to get the poison status because Swell has guts. Our Skylar has guts. There's no reason to believe this Swell also won't have guts. So we're just going to go for the. Acrobatics. We could have gone for bite, gone for you know cringes or uh, flinches, <gasps> but our acrobatics did that much. Doesn't matter. Double team does not matter. Oh wait, yeah, it does. Acrobatics can miss. I was thinking of Aerial Ace. Aerial Ace is the one that doesn't miss. Okay, hyper potion. Should have seen that one coming. Completely forgot. Okay, swells back down to the red. All we need is one more acrobatics. Batman. <clears throat> and Batman landed it. Because Batman is awesome. <laughs> so in the fight of dominance, Batman versus Skylar, Batman came out on top. Batman was also two levels ahead of, you know, Swallow. So, there's that. Um... Okay, Skarmory. Uh, I guess going to Crybaby and Overheat. Seems like the good move to me. I was going to try avoiding Cry uh, Crybaby, but I mean, he did just evolve, so we might as well use him at least once. And it looks so powerful. Like... Looks like one of those uh, like 
church organ pianos with the big pipes on it. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, let's overheat the Skarmory. Skarmory might live. The Skarmory has sturdy. It doesn't. Okay, it doesn't have sturdy. Oh, good job, Crab in an Altaria. Okay. Um. Well, we do have our own Altaria. But. But. Could go into Skyor. So if we. Okay. So if we go into Skylar and we use double team, because Altaria is going to have uh, Dragon Dragon Breath, is that what it is? I think. So if Altaria gets the poison status on Skylar, that activates our guts. But I also want to avoid being hit, so I'm going to double team. Just in case. Yeah, Dragon Breath. Okay, because Dragon Breath is probably going to hurt. It doesn't hurt as much as I thought it would. Honestly. <laughs> we have 69 health. Give me a hashtag nice in the comment section. <laughs> you know what's up. Alright, we're going to focus energy now. Because we need the crits because Altaria used Cotton Guard. Um, okay, so let's Aerial Ace now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's not doing anything. Nothing. Let's activate that guts? No, it does not. Okay, um. So I'm gonna use a lemonade because a dragon a crit dragon breath will take Skylar out. Okay. She missed that one. So let's aerial ace again and hope for a crit. Hope for a crit. No crits. Unfortunately, no crits. Paralysis? We got the paralysis. Okay, that's fine. Our guts is activated now. Altaria's faster. And we're <laughs> paralyzed. Awesome. Alright, we're gonna uh, eliminate Skylar again. Need to be a full health. Okay, now their Dragon Breaths are hitting every turn. So let's attempt to Aerial Ace again. Hopefully we can get a crit. A Guts activated crit Aerial Ace. Skylar! <laughs> I'm telling you, every time Batman does something, Skylar's got to outperform him. And every time Skylar does something, Batman has to outperform her. Just MVP battling for that spot. Okay, now, um, I am going to max potion. Because I don't want this Altario, like I said, to get a crit. You're going to roost. Of course you're going to roost. Of course you're going to roost. I should have seen that one coming. I should have just went for the, uh, should just went for the quick attack. Okay, and you roosted back to full health. If only we had an ice move. If only. Okay, dragon breath, and we're paralyzed. Awesome. Um, we may have to start double teaming. Okay, there's our crit. So as long as Dragon Breath is not a crit, we will live. And we can quick attack. Altaria's probably gonna go for Roost anyways. So let's quick attack. Skyler! Oh. MVP Skyler. Just gotta call it. MVP Skyler. She got the crit when she needed it. 
She did not let the paralysis hold her back. Okay, Pelipper. Pelipper. Now let's. Now we can go into Q-tip because Q-tip will resist water moves. Um, and then we can Dragon Breath the Pelipper and get try to get our own paralysis on it. Okay. That was a crit. Still didn't do much, but Pelipper takes damage because of the Rocky Helmet, which is nice. And of course, you gotta protect. Oh. So, you know, at the start of the episode, I got that that uh that Water Stone. Inferno Man was talking and telling me that I should just do a stream for it. Like I should just soft reset, just battle. Fisherman Elliot and just soft reset until I get the water uh, water stone which isn't a bad idea because I really do want the water stone I really would like to have a Ludicolo this is our sixth gym badge or it will be as soon as we defeat Pelipper um, so you know having a Ludicolo before the end of the game would be nice and I don't think there's any like there are other ways of getting, you know, the Water Stone. But, like, battling Fisherman Elia, I feel like, is the fastest way to get it. So doing a stream of just soft re- like, battling him with soft resets, I think, wouldn't be too bad. Okay, stop using Protect, stop using Roost. Stop it, Pelover! Stop it. Uh, you're gonna protect again? Of course you are. You're just gonna spam, protect, and roost. That's all you're gonna do. We need the paralysis. Okay. Q-tip. You are definitely not MVP. That's for sure. But luckily, you got it this time. And the power is gone, and Winona is defeated. Finally, Leader Winona was defeated. Okay, awesome. I recognize your talent and present you with this gym badge. All right, we have our sixth Hoenn gym badge finally. With the Feather Badge, all Pokemon up to level 70, even those received through trades will obey your every command. You will also be able to use the HM Move Fly outside of battle, and this, this is a gift from me. And we got TM19 Roost, um, Batman can't learn Roost through TM, Skylar can, but I like Skylar's moveset. Um, Q-Tip already has Roost, and I don't think the other three can learn it. It would make no sense for a Linoon, a Ludico, or a Linoon, a Lombre, and an X Cloud to be able to learn Roost. So yeah, Roost. With this move, the user can restore its HP by up to half of its max HP by landing on the ground and resting its injured body. However, the user loses its fighting type designation during the turn, so be cautious. You won against me. I know you'll be aiming higher and higher. Someday, you may even fly up into the sky. That's the impression I get from you. Awesome. Winona is defeated. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you can click right up here for another awesome video. You can click right up here for our Pokemon Black Randomized Nuzlocke series. Click up there to subscribe. Give me a hashtag... Winona, if you made it this far, and I hope you have a wonderful day. May Arceus bless you, and goodbye.